doing Rock School for about five years. Um, first time I did it, I couldn't play any guitar. No, I know I played quite a lot, so it's helped me improve. Come every year or so, and it's good fun, you meet lots of good people, learn lots of good new songs, and it's a good experience to be able to play in bands with other people. Nerves get to me and I drop my stick or something, but I just, you know, was determined to do it. I did the gig and I thought it was the best I've ever done, really. I go out to work, in a t work as a team and to build my confidence up on stage. Set in the back streets of Worthing, this rather inconspicuous and unpretentious looking building is hardly a palace, but to some it is just that, a place to unwind, relax and to be part of a school of entertainment, tuition and rehearsal. Although it may be off the beaten track to the casual visitor or passer-by, it has a beat of its own, for behind this door lies a haven of musical activity. For this is a hub of a thriving community of technicians and musicians who are not only mad on the music they love, but who share with this building a place truly made for music. We're basically a recording and rehearsal based business in uh, Worthing in West Sussex. And uh, we've been around for just over seven years now, about seven and a half years. Um, it's been a sort of long, slow progress. We started off fairly quickly in, in the beginning and built about three rooms, used a lot of money. Um, but slowly we sort of climbed back up and become quite a community company in that we have a lot of community groups use us now, and local colleges and schools. And uh, it's sort of grown and grown, and, uh, but the mainstay of our business are, are bands who come in generally during the evenings and uh, Sundays. Hi, I'm Phil May from The Pretty Things. It took us about two years to find this place. We, we tried very many different other studios. Um, and now, we've been here about four or five times, it's like a kind of second home to us. We find. There's something about the place that has a kind of vibe for us, even though we come from all over the place to yeah. get here. This place is cool. I mean, it's not too posh. I mean, I think they, you know, they couldn't, couldn't find a better, a better place. place. No. It's, 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 uh, I think they're very helpful too with yeah. people starting up. It's not, there's no slime on the walls. If people knew about this place in Brighton, they would absolutely adore it. Welcome to Ivy Art Studios, and here's your guide for today, Johnny. Come in. This is one of our small rooms. Um, the room's kitted out for full band, drum kit, bass amp, and two electric guitar amps, keyboard if we need it, and three microphones. We've got air conditioning units in all the rooms because it does tend to get a bit hot with all the carpet on the walls. And we've got another three this size and a stage room, which is significantly bigger than this. We've got four studios here. This is one of them. Uh, stage room. And this is a flagship room. I'm sitting in the control room here, so I just usually sit here and press buttons and a lot of smoke and mirrors goes on really. A lot of kids can do this on their own at home, but the one thing that we're noticing that you can't do at home is really get the acoustic kit recorded. So we're getting a lot of sessions for drums coming in. And we're also getting a lot of sessions for kids coming in, want to do the MP3 voiceovers for the parents. and. Uh, get a lot of pro singers in just doing voiceovers for their up-to-date demos. So that's the kind of stuff that we end up doing. We also do tuition down here. We do a lot of courses for kids. And the Mad for Music courses are quite popular. I'm Johnny. I help to run Mad for Music, an intensive week-long rock school style course for young people run by experienced musicians to help young people develop their stage skills, confidence and music skills. Jonathan is wanting to do drumming as teaching for a living so he wants to do a week at rock school so it gives him some experience for him to get into college for next year for his exams. But I'm working with seven other people, Holby, Jason, Joe, Lyle, Julia, there's eight of us so, so far. But he needs experience and it will help him with his music um, exams next year so yeah it's a good thing and they've been recognised through Northbrook College so it's a good thing for here. The course runs 
three or four times a year, usually in the half terms and holidays, and are open to all young people of any ability. I was just like plucking the strings in there, and then I learned something new. In an ideal world, we'd like to be able to provide tuition for individual students, so drummers, the drum teacher, but um, we staff with musicians that have got like multi multi ability, so they, they may play bass and guitar and do a bit of vocals. Between us, we cover a lot of the tuition areas, including drumming. Monday, and it's day one of the Mad for Music course. For some, it's a chance to renew friendships from last year, whilst for others like Jonathan, it is an opportunity to fulfil his ambitions. Now is the time to get to know one another and decide upon what songs they will practice and develop over the coming week and to meet their tutors, one of whom is Coriander, their vocal coach. We're going to work on Forget You as a group and also Heart Skips a Beat. Um, we're working with a backing track to start with so they can all hear it and then uh, breaking it down into their instruments, copying out the words for them so they can all join in, do backing to it and harmonies. Johnny is at hand to supervise and to show the younger lads how to assemble the equipment, in this case the drum kits. He also takes time to demonstrate the safety measures in the studio and the location of the far exits on the upper floor. So we know that if there's a fire, if we're up here, this is how we get out. Yeah. Okay, but there will be an adult with you anyway. Primarily this is a rehearsal studio. We've got a facility to record, but uh, myself and the other engineer, Chris, both use our own equipment to, uh, to facilitate the recordings. There's no in-house equipment at this moment in time. Because you know your own desk, so we just bring our own desk in, plumb it in, set it up and press record. <laughs> that use this place are really found that this place has been beneficial in general to the whole Worthing vibe and the Worthing scene. It's quite a, it's quite a well established studio now. We've been going about seven years all told so we, we, we're still struggling as a lot of businesses are but we're still here. Regularly during the course of the week we take time to give the young people a chance to self-assess and evaluate how they're doing. It gives me a chance to work on improving the course. But it also gives them an opportunity to contribute and to put forward ideas. If you listen to the song, yes. it does do that. Yes. The skip, 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 skip a beat. Because ideally by Wednesday lunchtime, we need to have the songs that you want to do. So the registration today was at 10, so tomorrow it will be 10.30 till 4 every day until Friday. Okay, let's go. Chop, chop. Studio time is a valuable commodity with the rehearsal rooms in demand most of the day and into the evening. And the evening brings with it new phases and new challenges. Hi, I'm Sam from Vogue Academy and I run a part-time singing school for children. We run classes for 7 to 11 year olds, 11 to 14 and 14 to 18 year olds. We really like to work on the confidence with the children. We really teach them how to sing, perform and also make friends. So they come down here on a Monday evening at Ivy Arch Studios in Worthing and we have our lessons set out for them. We do warm-ups to start with, then we follow that with some techniques and we get them on the microphone learning songs, performing songs and we get them really coming out of themselves. Cause you only need the light when it's burning low Only miss the sun when it starts to snow Only know you love her when you let her go Our main office is based in Brighton and Hove but we have schools all around the south as well so if you fancy coming down give us a ring and we'll help you out. Yeah we're very very cheap, very cheap. Um, we only charge 10 quid an hour for the audio side of things, which is throw away! Throw away money! <laughs> 10 quid an hour on top of your rehearsal, so it's 
if you get a daytime rate, it's 20 quid an hour for a studio with a control room and people who half know what they're doing and half fake it with smoke and mirrors. So, I mean, hey, you get what you pay for, but would you rather pay 400 quid in a studio for eight hours or would you rather pay 160 quid in a studio for eight hours and have a laugh while you're doing it? No brainer, really. We've all been in the business for a while. We've all used facilities where we just haven't had the opportunity to really get the best out of the day because we're all looking at the clock and thinking that's another 40 quid spent, that's another 40 quid spent. You can't work under them conditions, nobody's got that amount of money anymore. I'd rather have 10 clients for 400 quid than one client for 400 quid because the repeat business you're going to get off the 40 quids will keep you going. The one client will get the 400 quid and then the pressure's on. You've got to, you've got to provide, you've got to get a good result in the time that you've got for that amount of money, a lot of, lot of places are missing the point, I think. There's nine members of staff that between us, we make sure the equipment's all maintained, man the reception and rehearsal rooms it's from 10 o'clock in the morning until midnight, seven days a week. This is the stage room. Kitted out the same way as the other rooms. We also do private one-on-one -on -one lessons. Yeah, I'm at, um, I've been teaching guitar now for about 20 years. I teach with, like, mainly guitar and bass and a bit of vocal. And uh, basically get their stage presence up and uh, confidence and all that. Do the rock school kind of thing and uh, make sure they have a really fun week. This year we've got about eight people on the course. Enough for one big band, so everybody's getting to go and honing down their rock skills for the performance on Friday. So uh, yeah, just getting everyone to play really as a unit. Everyone's tight and on the money. And uh, yeah, it's going really well. It's been really good for me as a working musician because I've picked up a load of work from bands coming in asking about deputy players. So if their regular guy can't make it on bass guitar or sitting on bass guitar or similar guitar or anything like that. Okay, on with the music. You're tuned to Worthing Sunshine Radio dot com, Worthing's only community radio station. Tuesday night sees the DJ and skills of Cookie Jones. Cookie is a musician's musician who played with Edmondo Ross and now divides his time between performing as a jazz and session musician and recording his weekly shows for Sunshine Radio here at Ivy Arch. Uh, we are Worthing's only, and I specify only, community radio station. We're not an FM station, we operate on um, online. We're working with the community purely and simply to get the community involved because Worthing does not have a community radio station. All our presenters, uh, technical staff, it's all volunteers. The station runs 24 hours a day. From the figures that I've been given, we're getting somewhere between one and 5,000 hits a week, which for a little virtually unknown online radio station is, um, is pretty good. We've got four studios here. They're, they're numbered in order of when they were built. So room one next door is the first room that was built. And uh, it's probably the best soundproofed room. It's in the middle of the building. We get quite a lot of bleed over from the trains going past. So every now and again, if you're doing something that's audio critical, so you've got an acoustic session or soft vocals going on, all of a sudden you get the express to Gatwick going through and it's, um, it's usually a retake or let's try and get rid of the train noise. We've got two upstairs, number two, which is the far end, second room built. That's my personal favourite to work in because there's a little bit of magic in there. You walk in there, it's got a sloping roof, so you feel a bit like you're in Alice in Wonderland, especially if you take the little pills before you go in. Uh, it's right by the fire exit as well for a hasty escape should we have a fire. And we've got number four, which has got a sofa and it's quite handy to kip on when you miss your last train back home. And then, of course, we've got the room three again. Reception area is all new pretty much. About a year ago, we just knocked it all through and just give it a big expanse because we had a small room. Initially, it was in the studio. It was upstairs as you come into the 
room. It's now a front storeroom, it was an office. And this is a mixing session from the other day, so it's always best to do it on a different day, I find, because um, everyone starts wanting to kill everybody else. <laughs> so on and so forth. So um, we're just in mix at the moment. That's the first one. So we're going to use that as a template mix and then use that template mix on the other tracks. And hopefully we should be done by lunchtime and straighten the pub. We have quite a lot of community groups coming in. Choirs. Uh, there's even a samba band that come in, about 30 of them come in. It's the only place in Worthing they can actually rehearse because they can't just hire a village hall because of the sound levels. So yeah, 30, 30 of them come in on a Thursday night and uh, bash away at their, their drums. <laughs> value uh, Ivy Arch Studios and we cannot rehearse in anywhere that's not soundproof. As we've got two drummers, if you've already played the drums, maybe help Jonathan to learn how to play that particular song. Because if you've already got that skill, you can share that skill on. This is our final day and today we're just putting all the songs together and pressing all of them. Currently we're doing a week of intensive study and we've got a gig at the end so that should be good and uh, we're also switching around instruments so we can play stuff we've never played before. Everybody's getting all their parts together in their various groups and then um, tonight all their parents and friends, family will come down to watch them do a performance. Good evening ladies and gents, welcome to Mouth Music. Uh, we've had a great week again. It's a stunning amount of talent in this town and we're pleased to just give you a little smattering of it this evening. So please put your hands together for Cyber Siblings. Finally, it's time for our buddy musicians to perform as a unit to their family and friends, and time for us to appreciate just what opportunities can be found hidden away within our towns. From the audience reaction and from the faces of the youngsters and their families, the Mad for Music course has been once again a resounding success and demonstrates that the studios here at Ivy Arch serve not only as a mecca for aspiring talent, but reinforce the view that they are certainly made for music. So if we end up on the cutting floor in your film, please treat us gently. <laughs>